Chess is a two-player strategy board game that is said to have first been played around 6th century AD. I was actually there for the first game of chess. It was a great watch. The one word that pops into everyone's head when they think of the game of chess is intense. Chess is a complex game with tons of tactics, openings and books all about the game. A true sophisticated game of intellect. Get us? If each player moved their pieces five times each, with just those 10 moves alone, there already could have been 69,352,859,767 possible games. That's quite big. Which is also, subsequently, the number of subs that that PewDiePie bloke has. Now, as far as my personal experience with chess goes, I learned the basic rules when I was like 10, but I never really put too much thought into the game or took it too seriously. But one night, there I was on Twitch, watching my scheduled programming, until I came across Twitch Pog Champs. A chess tournament between a number of the platform's largest streamers. Now, at first, this concept didn't really capture my interest, until I watched one round, and then I found myself staying up till 2am to watch every round of it. Which also opened my eyes to Twitch's chess scene that I had no idea existed before and the number of great streamers that stream the game. Now for any of you that are watching this video and don't know the rules of chess, don't you worry, let me quickly go through and give you a summary of each piece that you have at your disposal. The pawn. This is the cook of the chess world. It moves forward and takes diagonally. There's also a strange little niche technique you can perform called en passant, but you have to be French to perform this move, so... But if you do manage to get these little runts to the other side of the board, it's upgrade time. The rook, or the castle bastard, can move up, down, left and right in a straight line. Not bad, really. Plus, you can perform a magical move along with the king called castling, which in all fairness is a lot less epic than it sounds, but it gives off the illusion that you somewhat know what you're doing. The knight, or the horsey, is modelled after a horse. Me and this piece actually have a lot in common. Every time we move, it always results in an L. The bishop. This bastard moves diagonally and will take you out as it comes steaming at you from the other side of the board the second you stop paying attention. The king. Despite the name, is horse shit. It can only move one square at a time. He's a bit of a putty, but you have to protect him at all costs. And the queen. This bitch can literally go wherever the fuck she likes. Shit fuck. Shit fuck. Shit fuck. Now the overall aim of a game of chess is to use these pieces at your disposal to pin the king into a position where he has nowhere to move, also known as checkmate. Please help me. <laughs> chess is great, it's the only board game that allows you to kill the queen with a horse. So now you're up to speed on the entire workings of the game of chess, the main website for online chess is the inventively named chess.com. Nice job, team. Chess.com works off a simple system, letting you play timed online blitz games of 10 minutes, 5 minutes, and 3 minutes, as well as a 1 minute bullet chess round. And bullet is a great name for this mode, because it's what you want to put through your skull when you lose a game of it. I mean, chess.com is really a reality check for your skill level. If you're anything like me, a beginner that thought they were okay at chess, after just a few games on the site, you will realise that you are shit. Here we go, just move here. What? A wonderful feature of chess.com is right next to the username of the person you're playing is a small flag that says where they're from. So not only do you know who you've just lost to, but you also know what nation has just smashed you into the ground. And if I ever see this flag, I might as well just turn my PC off right there. I don't think I've ever beat a single opponent from India. I mean, seriously, Indian people must have chess running through their veins. I imagine while I'm at my PC taking four minutes to carefully decide my next move as I drip with sweat, somewhere in Asia, some Indian man is on a bus playing chess on his phone to casually pass the time as he makes a fool out of me via the medium of chess.com. Now much like professional chess, chess.com works off an ELO or ELO system, which simply put is a number that represents your skill level, gaining ELO points if you win a match and losing ELO points if you, well, lose a match. And this ELO rating is used to match you against players with a similar ELO rating. It's a very similar system to the ranking in CSGO, just with a lot less swearing. Come dance, never cast my daddy G, I'll come out of my house and I'll break your fucking 
Here, Lakes, you little prick! Now, the chess rack names are amazing, with FIDE awarding some of the world's best chess players with such ranks as International Master, Grandmaster, and International Grandmaster Wizard Dragon Slayer. I feel like chess has a stigma about it, that people that play the game are small hunchback men with glasses that sit and play the game for 20 hours a day and overall are very nerdy and unattractive. But this isn't the case. I mean, just look at the world's number one chess player, Magnus Carlsen. I mean, boy is he sexy, a Norwegian hunk. I'd let him take my pawn any day. Anyway, he managed to win three games of chess at the same time blindfolded and managed to beat that Microsoft bloke in 12 seconds. Oh, that was quick. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> I've been playing chess casually over the last month or so, and overall, the game is great fun when you get to know how to play it, and placing somebody in a headlock that is checkmate will stroke your ego as you laugh while you watch your humiliated opponent leave the chat room. If you've never tried the game, I highly suggest you give it a try. I have great respect for the greats of the game. Who knows, maybe one day I'll get an ELO rating of 3,000 and be good enough to beat Magnum Carlos. And with all of that said, goodbye.